bridge. It's roughly eight feet by eight feet. Woo! Built out of all leftover lumber sitting over behind the shed down there. Frame racks are set. Everything's coming into here. We might move this just to change the way this pool looks a little bit. Two big massive seven foot stones. All that water, 50,000 gallons of water is flying through that space down into about a two foot deep pool of water. This patio, I mean it's already incredible now, but it's gonna look amazing by the time a patio comes into here, some steps come down into this space for the kids. You get that big pool or big giant horsetail waterfall. Probably the biggest horsetail waterfall I've ever done. And then we get all the plants and stuff in and around. It's just gonna be great. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Well, a much, much different day today than yesterday or the day before yesterday. Saturday was 100 degrees with a whole lot of sun. Today is 60 something with not too much sun. <laughs> Saturday we got pretty high and the waterfall is at least high enough so we can continue to fill this thing. I'll turn this around and show you where we're at. But he's left this hose on now for a day and a half and we're up at least reaching into the intake bay here. So here's our intake bay. Everything will come into here. We probably have an inch of water over the top but you can see based off of some of the stone over in here we still have a ways to go. Water sits about three inches lower than the top of that. So we're getting really really close. I mean, you can see the hose. Well maybe not but you can almost see the hose running over here and the waterfalls are coming together really nice a little tricky just because of the size of some of the rock but uh, love the progress we made so we've got our awesome frame rack right here we were able to get some rocks in there so water could not just drop this way but kind of come out over that ledge in that frame rack we got some massive massive boulders these are like seven eight ton boulders sitting back here that one's every bit of nine feet long and sits about four and a half feet tall so it's just a massive massive rock we're looking now to come in here finish the frame rocks for another water fall that'll drop in here finish this off get some wing walls put in and then we can move back into that area which is actually going to be our first wetland filter so we've got two wetlands going on here and the reason we're doing two is because we don't have any place to do one giant big one let me get in here show you a closer look at this waterfall so this is a spill stone it sets a touch higher than this encouraging some of that water to come off of this rock and then we took that rock put it on a big slope and water should come around that area there and around that area there kind of be together and then everything will come over this and drop in and, and give us a nice waterfall and then the height of this sets about a 12 inch deep pool back in here which will be great all right guys so let's keep uh, muscling through this and create some more magical looking stuff out here in Yucaipa, california bye All right, so we're pulling this rock forward. That's gonna allow this liner to slide in back behind the other one. waterfall to scale with the size of the pond a little you know two foot waterfall on this thing would look weird but uh, I think I think we're achieving it. really think we need to start incorporating some smaller rock here and there just so it all ties together because this is just a sea of 
monster boulders, but it looks so amazing. We're up to the next level. You can see Luis and Eric up here digging. We got the next pool excavated. One of the biggest things we need to focus on is over digging, which then gives us a lot of flexibility with setting you know, some of these monster boulders that are gonna go in. By the time a patio comes into here, some steps come down into this space for the kids. You get that big pool or big giant horsetail waterfall. Probably the biggest horsetail waterfall I've ever done. And then we get all the plants and stuff in and around. It's just gonna be great. excavation here. This is to extend the stream back past Jose over and through here. Right about here is where we're gonna have a bridge and then that area up in there is where we're gonna have our wetland. So excavation for stream, bridge, and wetland happening here. It'll all make a whole lot more sense once the bridge gets in.
bridge. It's roughly eight feet by eight feet. Woo! Built out of all leftover lumber sitting over behind the shed down there. Those are all railroad cars. for the day. I'll take you down, show you what we did with the staircase, how that's kind of done. Came in here, set a bridge, set the foundation, dug it all out, set some new frame rocks for a waterfall. Tomorrow we're gonna come in, kind of button this up, more importantly, button up around this big giant drop in here. So we'll get this set, backfill around the bridge, but it was a butt buster, <laughs> butt kicker of a day. Everybody came together nice. It's just a long one. So I'm feeling tired. Do you want to see what I look like? That's what I look like. <laughs> you guys want to go see the stairs? Let's go see the stairs. Just rinsing stuff down. We made some modifications because we always make modifications. We decided as we were doing the stairs that we would come in and you can see Matt dragging a hose up here, but we came in and we dug all of this out as well. This was a epic amount of soil to come out here with the idea that we're gonna put a seat wall from here all the way over to about here, framing out with a couple monster boulders. Nice little seat wall. The bottom of the patio will sit about a foot lower, maybe even a foot and a half lower than water level in this pool, which just offers some awesome opportunities to sit down, giant waterfall right behind Behind you put your hand in the water by the seat wall and just a really cool intimate spot next to some of their bigger trees back over here and then here's the staircase roughly shaped out they'll come in build stairs all the way through this just kind of walking up and down it looks actually way better from down here look say hi to everybody what's going on everybody see how cool this is gonna look walking up through here walking right up into here and then eventually there'll be a staircase back up to here to an outdoor kitchen and a pavilion and all that fun stuff so i'm signing off for today tomorrow we have to start the wetland filter i told you today we would start the wetland filter but we improvised we changed a bunch of stuff changed the design and now the wetland filter is going further up the hill so tune in next episode, see how we button up that whole waterfall and start doing the wetland filter. You guys are great. You know what to do. Tell all your friends, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how crazy you think this project is because I think it's crazy. Bye.